Wildfires in western Turkey have breached a thermal power plant in Mula. Crews were able to remove explosive materials beforehand, but there are fears that tons of coal left inside could still ignite. And in Greece, more than 70 people have been hospitalized with breathing problems after wildfires broke out in and around Athens, enveloping the city in a smoky haze. CNN's Kim Brunhuber reports on the dangerous situation across southern Europe. What began as a clear blue sky over the Grecian capital Tuesday soon turned to plumes of smoke smothering Athens. By Wednesday, a thick haze coated the city surrounding its famed landmarks. Wildfires raging on the outskirts of Athens forced residents to flee as flames consumed their homes. The fires are now largely controlled, but fears remain it could surge again as Greece suffers its worst heat wave in more than 30 years. In neighboring Turkey, firefighters are struggling to contain deadly blazes sweeping across parts of the country, becoming more dangerous by the moment. After incinerating swaths of forest, flames have breached a power station in the country's southwest. The plant was evacuated and some of its flammable materials dumped, but environmentalists still fear the impact as the coal-powered station burns. Turkey's president says these are the worst fires the country has ever seen as a heat wave across the region increases the chances of more burning to come. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Italy, Romania and Serbia also face heat warnings. EU scientists say the Mediterranean is becoming a wildfire hotspot adding to worries that the climate crisis may be amplifying extreme weather in Europe and around the globe. Kim Brunhuber, CNN. So let's go live to Athens, Greece, where Alinda Lavropoulou is standing by. So Alinda, what is the latest on these fires and of course efforts to contain them? Well, at the moment, there are a lot of fires still burning across Greece, some of them uh, very serious. Uh, there's a fire on the island of Evia that seems to be out of control at the moment, and more villages are being evacuated. This is a tourist destination as well, so this includes a number of tourists who are in Greece on holiday. And there's also a large fire burning very close to the archaeological site of ancient Olympia. And th th there are huge, tremendous efforts there to try and contain the fire before it reaches the archaeological space. Just to give you a sense of scale of what has been going on in Greece, in just uh, over 48 hours, we've seen a good 200 fires break out as a result of the heat wave. Uh, the temperatures here are, are sweltering. Uh, we're looking at an average temperature of about 43 degrees Celsius a day. Uh, that's the highest, uh, most extended heat wave uh, we had in Greece in over four decades. In Athens, things, uh, conditions remain difficult. There was a large fire that uh, has now been put out, but it was burning for a couple of days uh, here until, until yesterday. And as a result, the skies remain hazy. It's difficult to breathe. You can really taste almost uh, the smoke. And uh, authorities have been asking people to stay indoors and, and try to uh, keep their windows closed in order to keep the air particles out from reaching their homes. Uh, so this is a, a heat wave that we expect uh, to last throughout the week. Um, so uh, we expect conditions to remain difficult and there is also a weather forecast that winds are likely to pick up, Rosemary. And as we talked about uh, last hour, a lot of people there in Greece don't have access to air conditioning. What about uh, efforts uh, to shelter some of these people who could perhaps lose their homes or certainly enduring really severe conditions? Well, a lot of people have already lost their homes. Uh, on the island of Evia, at least 150 homes have been destroyed. And during the large Athens fire, uh, dozens of houses as well. So authorities have taken uh, measures. They've made sure that these people are now being put up in hotels. And there are shelters, there are uh, communal spaces for people who don't have air conditioning, who do not have uh, access to air conditioning, so they can go and spend the day there uh, if, if they need to, Rosemary.